we are here is the final part of what is a flesh bar part three fortunately flesh borer beetles only live a short time after being expelled from their nest beast with a lifespan measured in minutes and a metabolism that consumes their bodies at a prodigious rate they usually die shortly after hitting their targets in some cases though the beetles may survive if they're able to feed upon the corpses of their victims. Many cautionary tales among the Imperial Guard warn of burying the bodies of soldiers killed by tyranids. It is possible for a borer beetle feeding on a corpse to burrow their way up the arm of any guardsman foolish enough to touch his fallen comrade. It is little wonder then that standard practice is detailed as the Imperial Guardsman Oh, standard practice as detailed in the Imperial Guardsman Upslifting Primer is to burn all bodies killed with by Tyranid weaponry wherever they fall. Even with these hard-learned lessons, the Imperium still knows only the rudiment details of how flesh borers function and can only theorize as to their ultimate capabilities and what they might be. That the weapon seems to die with its bonded creature is apparent, and no examples of a flesh borer functioning independently of its host has ever been recorded. The Adeptus Mechanicus Megos Biologis have conducted extensive studies of the borer beetle as well, looking for ways to more effectively protect the soldiers of the Imperium against their assault. Unfortunately, keeping a beetle alive long enough to study its remains difficult and poses the danger of one getting loose within the biologist's laboratory. That was it. You now know what all there is to know about what the hell a flesh borer is. I know that makes you very proud. Until next time, bye.